Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Aqua Elixir, or at least my Twitter handle is, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm a little disgruntled right now because I just woke up from a nap to Amazon telling me that they delivered my package. I cannot believe that we are in a time now where we have a second wave of queer productions. Because if you weren't aware, if you've been living under a rock, the first time that they did a wave of first edition queer productions, it was not fun. It was not fun. Mattel really loved to play with us, didn't they? Didn't they? Where are my other Wave 1 Creep Productions veterans out there? Because we deserve compensation. Of course, when I say this, I'm talking about Frankie. I'm talking about Claudine. Laguna Blue. And then I do have Jackie Laura, but she's currently in her eye coffin. Not eye coffin. Coffin bed. And I don't feel like getting her out of it right now. But yes, if anybody remembers the OG four girls that got reproduced... Um, they were a shit show. Mattel loved back in the day, and I mean, hey, they still kind of do, loved to use the tactic of scarcity so that people could get their products. And I hate that tactic. I feel like it's still something that we're not fully out of the woods of yet. They were at my Walmart, so that's why I like got them, because I didn't want to go online. I thought, just like everyone else's release was going to last a lot longer than it actually did. Literally after the first couple of days of them being there, they were gone. And like, I remember the day that I went was the first day that they were available. And I had work. I had like a half day, whatever. So I went afterwards and it was really slim pickings after a while. Like there was like a few of each character, but the shelves were looking empty. The display was looking a little empty. So that just goes to show like these dolls were very, very not sought after, but like everybody was wanting them. They were very desired. But series two, I did not think that this was ever going to come just because again, it's been two years. These came out 2021. It is now 2024. Was it 20? No, no, no. It was 2022. Oh my God. I lied. Yeah, no, it's been two years. Now the day that I'm filming this is March 32nd. Just kidding. I got you, didn't I? I'm filming this on April Fool's Day. That was a little April Fool's joke for you guys. Today is the official release day for the second wave of Creep Productions. However, doll Twitter and just the doll community at large is so on it when it comes to things like this. They find the listings real fucking quick. And not only were these dolls on Mattel Creations, they were on Amazon. So the Amazon links were given out yesterday which was March 31st, I looked and I was able to get my hands on all of them. So I ordered all of them and all of those from that original order are coming tomorrow, April 2nd. But I remember, because I was worried about faces, Monster High is notorious for having very wonky screenings. And I wanted to get my hands on like a second of Gulia and Abby. Just because I'm like, those two, I really don't want them to have wonky faces. I already have a wonky Gulux Gulia. So I'm like, I don't want that. And when I went to reorder them, why was there an option for me to get Abby today? A day early. We took that option. So here is our second Abby right here. <laughs> She's literally right here. I cannot believe I have my hands on an Abby Abominable doll. Okay, one, two. I'm gonna show y'all her first. Oh my god, the back of her box. Is she good? Let me look. Here she is. Okay, okay. Do you think judging people will come back to haunt us? Monster High welcomes our new ghouls. Could it be? Monster High's killed brats the same way brats once killed Barbie. Public justice. Ha ha ha. Now let's not get it twisted now. We still have Stylesville, but I mean, sometimes we just be taking a trip other places. We go to Monster High. We go to Barbie land. I can't help it. I'm only one person. It is April 2nd, and you know what that means. I'm not 
not gonna waste all this time anymore because we spent like six minutes doing an intro. So we're just gonna get into the boxes. I think I'm gonna start with the big one just because uh, that has everybody in it. And this is just Gulia. So we're just gonna open this. I'm so excited. Okay, here's everybody. First up, I wanna check Abby just to see how this one is. Honestly, both of them have had really good screenings. This one does have a little label sticker on it though, but like, oh wow. I'm really satisfied. Holy shit. Okay, let's get into Spectra. Oh, Spectra is wonky. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see. Oh, yeah, yikes. So I just ordered a new one, cause thank God. Surprisingly, Abby and Spectra are still in stock. And then we have our first Gulia. She looks good, but I can't see because of her glasses. But here is Ms. Gulia. Honestly, she also looks good too. Like again, I can't really tell because of the glasses, but I wanna say that she's looking good. I'm thinking of opening up Abby first just because I've been dying to open her since yesterday. So here she is. The Monster High logo, Freaky Just Got Fabulous. We have this little snowflake icon, but it's cut out. I noticed with a lot of the boxes, the little icons in the corner are like cut out, which is interesting. I'm so sad that we don't have like their sayings. Like all of them just have Boo Original Creep Production, which like sure, label it as the reproduction that it is, but like you could have put that anywhere else. Shiver, which I'm now realizing does not have her name. We have her skelet off to the side with the earmuffs, which I think is just so cunty. And it says Abby Abominable, Daughter of the Yeti. And then one thing with these Creep Production boxes, they have the little cassette tape around for some reason. And they have little things, little sayings in them. So this one says 14th December birthday mix. At the top, we have another one. And it says, I'm thinking scary, cute, but annoying classmate may be fun for date. And this is definitely with her accent that she has in Generation 1. On the side, we have the gorgeous artwork. And then the back says, Meet the frighteningly fashionable teen children of the world's most famous monsters. And then same thing, Abby Abominable. And oh, they did this with the first wave. They're doing it with this one too. Why do we only have like three stats about them? Probably just because of the international packaging of it all. They don't want to have like 17 million paragraphs of that all over the place, but like only three. Her age is 16, favorite food is the cheese of the yak and pancakes. And then her BFFs are Laguna Blue and Frankie Stein. And then we have another little tape right here, cassette tape. And it says, true friend is same in every language. Sure. All right, y'all, all I'm gonna say, she can try, but she can't compete. When I pull up, you know it's me. Ain't none of these bitches cold as me. Cross you just like a rosary. None of these bitches cold as me. Me. I swear, ain't none of these bitches cold as me. <laughs> Abby motherfucking Bominable is in my hands. Y'all do not know. Whenever this doll came out, what, 2011, 2012? When this doll came out, what before she even came out, I used to be looking all over Facebook pages. I didn't even have Facebook at the time. The Monster High Dolls Facebook page. And when Wave 2, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, school's out. And then Abby and Spectra were released. And there was that photo of Abby in the woods and then that other photo of Spectra coming out of the lockers. I wanted these dolls so bad and I was so upset because I knew that that would not happen. So to finally be able to have an Abby in my hands, not even having to worry about glue seepage, yellowing of any hair or any of her white accessories. Get out of my face. Like this is crazy. We're getting ahead of ourselves actually. Uh, we need to go over the accessories first. So here's her stand. It kind of looks like a periwinkle, but it's also blue. And we have Shiver, which like cute, yeah. And then we have this little like pouch, which is I guess supposed to be her bag, cause she doesn't come with a purse. But it has this little hook here. 
So I guess I can go on like the string of her dress, but it's also like detachable from this key. Y'all see that tiny ass key with the little skillet? I'm looking at the first set of Cree Productions with their diaries. They have like the front inside page, kind of like how a composition notebook does have this kind of style on like the back of the cover and then their name filled out. And then they also have their full about me page right here. And then again, way two Cree Productions. I think it's because they had to allot all this room for the different languages. This is like that back cover. It just starts with the diary. And then the last page is just the last diary entry in whatever language. So yeah. And then we also have her brush, which is right here. I'm going to keep it in box because I don't use the doll brushes. Starting off with the hair, I just checked Twitter. I don't think that I have the good tinsel because this is just like regular straight up tinsel. And apparently there's like a variant of the tinsel that looks a lot cooler. I just hope that when it comes to washing, the tinsel's not gonna be a problem because it usually is. On the front or on the outside, it's all white with the tinsel and then the underside has purple, pink, and blue. I love it, it's so gorgeous. And then she has her little headband that's so fluffy, her face, looks really great. I know that there's some differences. The eyebrows are a little thicker than the original and the eyes are like a little bit different. I hear a lot of people also saying that the lips are a little different too, but I don't give a fuck. Her earring, she has two different earrings. This one is a little snowflake and then we have this icicle or like crystal one. That's dangly. She also has a necklace, which is a little hard to see because like the fur on her dress is kind of blocking it but it is like this crystal necklace. Moving on to the dress, here it is. <gasps> so we got this fuzzy, kind of like over the collar kind of piece. I don't know dress terms, but yeah, we have like this furry part. And then we have her pattern, which is this gorgeous geometric with crystals in it. On the sides, we have this like rouging or something it's kind of mesh a little bit but then all around the front we do also have these strings and it kind of gives the illusion that it's getting tied up right here on the sides to kind of i guess like tighten the dress but it does not continue on the back and she also has these little like arm warmers all of them are just so nice and soft down to the leg she has her little leg warmers on I honestly thought that the leg warmers were her boots. So like this whole fuzzy part was the boot, but it's just a leg warmer and her boots are these like booties that look like this. It, <sighs> sometimes I just want to give up. I don't know. Up, 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 up. Forgot to mention she does also have these metallic silver tights. It's nighttime now. As you could tell, I took a little break, but we're back with Gulia. Just because I know that like everybody is nuts about this doll, I wanna keep her in box, but I'm like, we're taking her out. I'm potentially giving the other one to my best friend. So if that falls through, then I just might keep that one in box. And she has her little icon, which is the light bulb with the brain, but the brain is cut out. Why did we do this? What was the... What was the point? What was the reason? This box, it's nothing new. It's nothing special. Blue Original Creep Production, Sir Hoots A Lot, includes Doll Stand and Diary. We have the brush in here as well. And her little skelet, very, very cute. Gulia Yelps, Daughter of the Zombies. And then her cassette tape reads, oh Lord, it's dark now, so I can't see. July 25th birthday mix, so I guess Every box just has their birthday then on the front. Of course, on the side, we have her artwork. On the back of the box, I'm seeing four different things instead of three for her little profile. Her age is 16 in monster years. Her pet is an owl named Sir Hootsalot, the perfect companion, even though he absolutely refuses to be a message courier for me. Favorite food. Fruit. Favorite food. 
brains. Just kidding. I actually have quite the affinity for rapidly prepared mass market cuisine. Translation, I like fast food. <laughs> She's real. She's a fast foodie just like me. And then BFFs, Cleo Denial, and everyone else at Monster High. And then her bottom cassette tape reads 7-21-2011, first day of... What the fuck does that say? Necrocon. I guess that's like a Comic-Con. That's like one of the convention type things. Nerdy chic. Sure. Where's my manners? Almost forgot her little top quote, which says, uh, because it's zombie. Translation, I'm not just a comic book fangirl. I'm working on my own comic book series. That's uh, amazing. That's cute. Oh my God. I don't know why this, uh, sorry. Dead Pasculia just crossed my mind. And it just hurts knowing that I'll never own her. All right, everybody. Doll number two. Again, here is the brush that's going to be staying in the box. Doll stand. Pretty standard. Diary. Same thing as Abby. It doesn't have the about me. It's in a whole bunch of different languages. <gasps> oh, they had the space here this time. They have this whole blank free page. That could have been for an about me. But also, I do not go over their little sayings on the front. So on Abby's diary, it says, this diary is not for your reading. And then Gulia says, this, oh, <laughs> already can't do it. The private thoughts of Gulia Yelps, please refrain from reading my diary. Sir hoots a lot. Looking pretty detailed. <gasps> Sometimes I just want to give up. Then we have our bag, which is so cool. I used to hate this bag growing up. Like, I remember when these dolls first came out and I was like, oh, this bag is like so flat. Like, it's obviously not an actual functioning bag. It's just like a piece of plastic. But now just looking at it, it is so cool. And I love this bag. It's this cassette tape. It says monster mix on it. And then I love the brain pattern in the back. Super, super cute. The back is textured. And then the strap does detach. I used to think that this was so much bigger than it actually is. I guess just on the doll, it looks so big where it looked back in the day really big. But it's really tiny. Let's get into Mother. I honestly thought that Gulia was going to be like one of my least favorites of the Creep Pro so far. She's up there. But here she is. Her hair is a little messed up coming straight out the box, but we will wash it. Um, she does have this green headband to start. The hair is like obviously a couple of different shades of blue. Her glasses, iconic or <laughs> iconic, let me say. Look at that face. Look at that face. <gasps> The light capturing her bone structure is crazy. This is a lethal face. I know that, like, the diehards are like, oh, the faces are a little different. Bleh. This is giving Gulia to me. So it's looking pretty exact. It's looking pretty the same. And it's serving just as hard. Oh my god. Chills. A heart attack, but a mini stroke. Real heart attack. You heart attack. No regular stroke. The skinny brow, the dark eyes. We have her little zipper earrings, which stand out so nicely. Her necklace is like the silver necklace with a little pink thing, pink little charm. Her outfit. We all know this iconic outfit. Uh, sorry, I keep on forgetting this iconic outfit i love this is supposed to be like i guess like our finger gloves or just like arm warmers they do come off we have this black red and white striped shirt it's one of those like quarter sleeves of course and then over it is this tank top and it has cherries on it with this little skelet in the middle super cute little 360 she has her little piano bell, very operetta tease before operetta even existed. And it has a skelet in the middle as well. Then we have her pants. 
they're red, have like some black dots around it, these little straps in the front. And then the shoes, ugh, I mean, come on now. Wow, giving the knee-high converse very of the time. It has a skelet in it. <laughs> like, oh my god. I love this doll. I love this doll so much. That was Gulia. Tomorrow, let's pray for some good faces. Because we, I want to say we still have Claudine. We have Cleo, Deuce, and Spectre still on the way. Stay tuned. Except for Serena. <laughs> Hello again. So crazy how we keep on meeting up like this. Today is gonna be the last day. We have our final two, three dolls to unbox. First things first, Spectra. This one is pretty good. My only thing, and you guys are probably not gonna be able to see, her face looks perfect here. Um, her eyes are printed a little bit higher from the mold, so you can see like a little bit of the eye mold. But honestly, I'm not gonna return her and get another one. This one is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, my, and this box fits so perfectly inside. Like, what? This is crazy. Seeing specifically Cleo and Deuce new in box is taking me back. I know that this is obviously like a little bit updated from the original Wave 1 boxes. But regardless, seeing this fucking box, I feel like I'm transported back to like 2009, 2010, when Monster High was like really about to hit and come out in stores. And I didn't feel that at all with Laguna, Draculaura, Frankie, or Claudine when I got them way back in 2022. I'm feeling it with them. And back then, I remember there would be hella, not necessarily leaks, I guess they were, but every single time there'd be like a whole bunch of like stock images for new Monster High dolls and whatnot, they would be posted to YouTube. Anybody remember that? But it would be like official Mattel product and like prototypes and all that stuff. Cause I wanna say that they had a group of people, whether it was like parents or customers, surveyors, whatever, I guess would get sent these photos and provide feedback to Mattel. And like whether or not the products were good or whatever, you know what I mean? I think that that was what they were used for, but they got put on YouTube like a lot. So I remember when like the first dolls came out and those leaks were out. And even just watching all of the different people on YouTube, Wookie Warrior 23, I think, I think it was 23. Namantha sucks, like everybody who was like Monster High YouTube down. This is what this box is giving me. And I like, I'm so mad that I didn't get a second set. But also I'm just like, it's gonna be so much better taking them out and experiencing them. Finally. After all this time, I used to make paper dolls of these characters since I couldn't physically own them. So this is truly such a full circle moment for me. And like one, two, oh Lord, how am I gonna do this? Oh no. Okay, two, oh, I'm not gonna get everybody. Three, oh shit. Oh God, Abby, where you at Abby? Okay, okay. Leg. Oh. Oh. This is. <laughs> if I put my face in thumbnails, this would have been a really funny thumbnail. Oh, oh God. Oh. But like knowing that I have, I don't give a fuck if they're reproductions. G1 Monster High. This is so insane. Like, if I could tell 10-year-old me, 10-year-old Aqua Elixir, they're like, hey, did we make it? We did. We're here. Let's get through this box. First thing, uh oh the icon. Again, they cut out the little ball from the chain. Weird. The original Creep production, we got Ruin, 
who is her pet. Includes Dolstan and Diary. <gasps> what? 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 I'm so confused. What? That is so weird. Hold on. The little star right here has Spectra's saying. Because, like, her little, like, quote or, like, her little phrase that was supposed to be in this bubble right here is a haunting beauty. And instead of it being here, they just have it down here so tiny. And Abby's, which is a warm heart in the dead of winter, is also in the star down here instead of up here. Brew Original Creep Production should have been down here. Why is Gulia's just her diary, like, the, the quote that's on her diary? And then I'm looking at Cleo and Deuces. It also just goes into like what their diaries say too. Anyways, we got Spectra's Skelet down here, which is like the little translucency. And then Spectra Vondergeist, daughter of a ghost. And then her mixtape down here says 1030, which is October 30th, uh, haunted birthday mix. And then her little quote up here says, who are the real Vondergeist? Okay. <laughs> Girl, I don't fucking know. Off to the side, we have her iconic artwork. And then on the back, we have another four things. So age 16, her pet ruin is her ferret. Uh, Honestly, at this point, just fucking pause and read it. Pause and read it because I... I can't. I can't. And then her little mixtape on the back says, Oh my oracle. Y'all know the drill. Accessories first, Spectra's brush. Standard Monster High doll stand in purple. We have her diary, Spectra. And then her little thing says, I don't snoop in your own life, so please don't snoop in mine. What a fucking liar! We have her pet, Ruin, who has like, honestly, a really, really cute face. How can homegirl or homeboy stand? The tail does a perfect job, but also they're like leaning to <coughs> the right. So I don't know about that. Oh, we also have her bag, which pff, this is such a shitty bag. What do you mean? I can't even put a finger in there, but it's cute. It's like a little knapsack, I guess. It has a chain and it's if i drop one more thing here's our girl mattel why polly why i mean you shut up the coins to get gulia her saran why couldn't we do the same with spectra oh this is really sad because i love spectra i mean this doll would still probably be my least favorite if she had Saran, just because, like, her outfit isn't as outstanding as everybody else's. But, like, come on. This hair, I felt it. Oh, girl, she screamed, Polly. Write that in your ghostly gossip, bitch. The fact that your hair is whooped. I don't know, maybe she did come like this, but I don't remember her having this layering situation that she's got. Where it's like this deeper pink. No. <laughs> Sorry, it's like my Draculaura pill before filming. Uh, deeper purple. Underneath we have this light purple. The screening looks gorgeous. Like, holy God. Face card is on point. She has her little black ball and chain earrings. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm so sorry. We have this tank top. And it has all these little chains all over it. This outfit's like pleather on the sides. We have our little chain right there. She has a bracelet. Oh my god. <gasps> the fact that since her skin down here is translucent, you can see her hand peg. That's kind of cool. And then her skirt's looking a little crazy coming out of the box. But it's this black glittery tulle fabric. And then underneath we got this pink with some white I guess peeking out of it. Her bell is with like these rings. I don't know exactly what they're called but they're like a dangly ring. Let me take off a shoe so we can see the full of oh the shoe is on here. 
Maybe next time when you go to the shoe store, get a shoe that's actually your fucking size. Oof. Wow. That is really cool. <gasps> oh, you almost fell, girl. And since I already took it off, her shoes are these heels? Wedges? I'm gonna say it's a wedge. Purple shoe with chains, and then we have the big ass ball for the heel, but I guess it's also kind of like a wedge. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. But yeah, so that is Miss Spectra. I mean, again, really, really sad about the poly. I see a lot of people are able to make her artwork hairstyle though, which is really cool. So now let's get into our lovebirds. We have Cleo and Zeus. I love this packaging. We got Perseus and Hissette. We have their diaries. I forget what Deuce's thing is supposed to be up here, but Cleo's is obviously like a little diamond, but it's again all cut out. Deuce Gorgon, daughter, oh, son of Medusa, Cleo Denial, daughter of the mummy. My daddy, uh, my mummy. <coughs> my mummy, my daddy. And their little cassette tape reads, 7, 2010, the It Couple Mix. Oh, I love. And their artwork on the side. And then I love their back so much. We're gonna do another pause to read. So if you wanna read it, go on ahead. I know I've been reading everybody's up until this point, but I swear to God, sweetie at the VMAs 2023, that's what it's giving. Their last cassette tape on the back reads, 8.23, so August 23rd, dinner date, don't be late. And then at the top, their quote is, is there another beast couple at Monster High? We think not. Oh, Claude and Draculaura are pissed. Oh, Mattel, I think we need to clap back at this quote by releasing the Forbidden Love 2-pack as a response. Do it, you won't. I know you won't. Let's get into them. I really don't want to unbox them. They look so fucking good. But we're gonna have to. Stands. We got Deuce's green stand and like a wider waist clip and then Cleo's gold stand. Diaries, we got Cleo's and it says, for royal eyes only. Oh my raw. And then Deuce, I really love Deuce's handwriting. It said, bitch, he wrote a paragraph on the front. Keep your eyes off my journal or you'll spend the rest of your life as a lawn ornament. He ate with that though. Here's Perseus. Girl, get this creature out of my face. I want G3 Perseus again. Oh, why is one tail longer than the other? Like, ugh. Miss Contras has sat here. I never realized that she had like necklaces and then this little jewel. I just thought that she had the crown. So seeing that, I was like, ooh added details first we're gonna get the boy doll out the way Deuce. uh what was it urban monster high Deuce. Oh, Deuce. Deuce <laughs> so why are we here again Deuce, it's our first day <laughs> deuce's face card is eating <laughs> and you're stone yep you're stone you looked directly into his eyes didn't you mm, that's unfortunate He's got his snakes and his little, he's got his ear piercing, which it looks like is going through the middle of his ear. Like, does that not hurt? His glasses, look at these. Purr, purr. Also, for no reason does he have better head rotation than any of the girls. His outfit, we got his vest, no pockets. That's just like a little sewn in illusion oh my god his little tattoo of the scales we got a little 360 oh the pattern does not continue on the back that is crazy it says chain and then his tank top i love this shirt the little cassette with the skull his belt with the cassette again some studs and the chain and his pants with the little scaly spots all over them. I love these pants. And his little slip-ons. He got these at Vans. 
And then last but not least, we got Miss Diva herself. Oh my raw. I'm not gonna lie, this tinsel is shit. <laughs> Look at this. Like we got a couple of pieces that are already like really fucked coming out of the box. Going through these dolls and washing hair is gonna be a trip. Cause Ghoulie is the only normal one. We gotta deal with Tinsel City and Polygate. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, perfect screening. She has her little headband. She has her iconic earrings and her little mummy wrap on her arm right here with the little strings, a little fringe. The mummy wrap collar. She does also have this arm cuff. And then a bracelet for her outfit. She has like the blue over kind of like cover up or like wrap around situation. It has like the sheer panels on the sides. Underneath is her mummy wrap bodysuit, right? Jumpsuit, jumpsuit. And then her belt right here. Then, oh my God, her little, whatchamacallit? And her little, her little cellular device before eye coffins were a thing and it goes right back into the pocket oh and then she has another little fringe thing at the bottom and then her shoes are these wedges with the little mummy wrap detailing on them and studs at the bottom but that is basically it i mean final thoughts let's get the other ones out I honestly wasn't expecting to say this. I thought that Abby was gonna be like the one. I think Gulia is my favorite. Truly, this homegirl right here with the cunty face, she won me over. Next would probably be Abby. I mean, hello, of course. It's Abby Bonable, countress mother icon. Then of course, no contest. Third favorite is Cleo. She's just so good. I'm so happy to have her. It felt so weird not having her in the original, like first wave of Creep Productions. Next up would be Deuce. Deuce. Cause even though y'all be hating on boy dolls, I don't. And uh, he's just so handsome. And this outfit is very classic. And I feel like these two together, it's just so nostalgic for me. And then Pollyanna McDougal over here is definitely in last place. If it wasn't for the hair, maybe she'd be a little bit higher. But yeah, this Polly is criminal. I'm very happy that Amazon was the main carrier for this release because, oh my God, if it was on Mattel Creations, it would be a shit show. And I just feel like things were handled a lot better, especially compared to 2022. I will say, still not a fan of Mattel doing these like very limited time kind of drops, but I can't complain, I have all these dolls now. And it's very healing. As much as I am a Bratz channel, I do love Monster High. I did grow up with them, I have all the movies. So yeah. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate it. And if you are unsubscribed, but like my content, maybe consider subscribing. There's a button down there, it's free to click. And hit that notification bell as well, because I mean, I don't really have a set schedule. I just kind of post whenever I want to, but I do like to keep it very, you know, frequent with the posts as much as I can, because I do enjoy making content and sharing my journey. We like to have fun here. I know that I keep on saying that I have like, all these old videos and I'm gonna get to them and post them and all that stuff and I feel like I haven't it's all been like newer content but I swear I just like the motivation and all that stuff recently has not been there and I mean they're old videos I have like no storage so it's like a lot of work getting them back but trust me they're still coming we have a lot of shit that's still to come but thank you so much for watching I'll be seeing you guys in the next one bye Oh, 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 o